Better tell Dad there's a raccoon loose in the house. Stick a sock in it, brat face. I can't be drop dead gorgeous all the time. Only when Miguel's around. Oh, about Miguel. Oh, by the time I see him later today, I'll be the stunning beauty you could only dream of being. <sighs> Kate, you don't want to go in the kitchen. Unless you're serving breakfast in here, I do. <laughs> don't say I didn't warn you. She wouldn't listen. Something tells me this is going to be one of those days. Man. You guys just sit down and relax. You too, Charity. I'm going to make my special pancake omelet. What's a pancake omelet, kid? Why don't you just sit down and be quiet while I create? <laughs> to cook. I'll get that. Hey, Tina. Morning, Chris. Morning. Morning, Kay. Mmm, something sure smells good. It's like the bacon, Reese. Why don't you sit down before some hot grease gets on you? Accidentally, of course. <laughs> You know, recent statistics have shown that 90% of serious burns occur in the kitchen. Boning up on trivia there, are you, Reese? Actually, I'm trying to discern exactly what type of fish Charity brought home last night. Oh, that's right. Kay mentioned something about an addition to the family. Mm-hmm. The fish is over there by the windowsill. Don't you people know it's rude to stare? Uh, no offense, Charity, but, uh... This is one ugly fish. <laughs> I'll get you for that, Sam Bennett. I hypothesize that the fish is extremely rare, but nonetheless identifiable. Are you comparing it to the books in the internet? No. Actually, I'm going to dissect it, then use its internal organs to determine its true identity. No! Help me, Timmy! Save me from... You know, Charity's not the only one getting vibes. I'm getting this feeling that you and the stove are a recipe for disaster. We're going to be upstairs if you need us. Charity and Miguel, will you look after my shop while Jessica's gone? No problem. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Kay, could you help him out? Um, no, I don't think so. Simone and I have to work on a paper for school. That's why she spent the night so we can get an early start. All right, well, Charity, Miguel, you guys are on your own. Now. I'll tell you on the way there. How is coming to the youth center going to help you and Miguel away from charity? Unless your plan is to bribe his brother Luis. Well, I'm not that desperate. Yet. <laughs> no, my plan is to let charity try to get to Miguel through his stomach. I'll get him using sex. Oh, no, not this again. Look, there's a dance here on Valentine's Day. If I can get one dance with Miguel, I can get his hot Latin blood to boiling. And he'll forget all about charity's pancakes. And go straight for my hot cakes. <laughs> yeah, and who writes this stuff for UK, Beavis or Butthead? Do you remember when Sheridan and Louise danced the tango at Miguel's mother's birthday party? Yeah, but that was... Well, the... I'm going to get Sheridan to teach me the tango. If Miguel has one dance with me, he'll forget all about Charity when he sees my passion for him in my eyes. All right, Kay, I can actually hear the theme song to I Love Lucy. This is the most insane idea you've had yet. Wow. I cannot wait to dance with Miguel like that. I hope he looks at me the way Luis looks at Sheridan.